In this video, the first in a series of videos about field adjuster workplace safety, we're gonna get our hands dirty in germs, starting now. But wait, since I started creating videos for the independent adjusting community back in February of 2018, it's been mostly just me, once a week, every single Thursday. Well, I'm happy to announce that Adjuster TV isn't just me anymore. You've no doubt seen new videos by Chris Stanley about handling auto claims as an IA here every Tuesday. And you've probably also seen a new news show where we help IA firms, gear makers, software creators, and service providers get their messages and timely announcements out to you, the independent adjuster, as well as independent adjuster focused weather and storm reports. And we're also following some new adjusters like James Mathis at Claims Junkie in their journey to become working adjusters. As our lineup of top quality video shows grows, we wanted to be sure that every show has a distinct personality. So it's because of this that we're naming my Thursday show the Property IA Show. Nothing else is gonna change in the videos. You'll still see interviews with industry icons, gear and software demos, reviews, walkthroughs, rants, just for you, the working IA, and everything else you've come to know and expect from Adjuster TV. It'll just have a new name to distinguish it from the Auto IA Show, Adjuster TV News, and all the other great video content that we've got coming to you from the family of Adjuster TV shows. Okay, cue the intro, starting now. You're watching The Property IA Show. Hey, it's Matt here with The Property IA Show. And for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. Ding the bell. Okay, everybody is self-quarantining or sheltering in place or self-isolating or whatever to keep from getting or spreading COVID-19 or the novel coronavirus that first popped up in 2019. If you're watching this video in the year 2059, then you probably already know about the great coronavirus pandemic of 2020. If not, then we probably didn't survive. So yes, you've certainly heard all about how to wash your hands by singing happy birthday twice in a row while lathering, etc. But I thought this would be a good time to talk about not spreading germs in general as a field adjuster. See, the thing is, if you spend all summer looking at roofs for hail damage, you're also shaking about 15 people's hands a day, including homeowners, contractors, public adjusters, etc. So even though the risk for getting sick in the warmer months is reduced, they don't call it catch a cold for nothing. It's not totally eliminated and you can get knocked down with the flu even in the middle of summer. So let's talk about what you can do while you're on cat, whether it's in the summer or over the winter on hurricane cleanup, to protect yourself and to protect the people you come in contact with if you do get sick. Number one, keep your distance. They say that six feet is the safe distance. I guess if it's flu season, it's gonna be hard to keep that kind of distance from somebody when you need to shake their hand when you greet them. No reason you can't keep a little thing of hand sanitizer in your tool belt to use on the sly. Nobody's gonna see, I promise. Number two, never cover your mouth or nose with your hands. Hey, what? Aren't you supposed to cover your leaking face holes when you sneeze or cough? Yes. But use tissue, or even better, the crook of your elbow. Hopefully you're wearing a long sleeve shirt of some kind. So why not just use your hands? Well, you can blow right through them, broadcasting germs everywhere. And worse, now your hands are covered with germs. And also the front of your pants, if that's where you wipe them, you barbarian. Unless you immediately and thoroughly wash your hands, everything you touch will have influenza or the common cold or the coronavirus or whatever nasty crunk you've got. Number three, keep hand sanitizer handy. I've always had a pump bottle of hand sanitizer in the door of whatever vehicle I'm driving, whether I'm on a cat or not. It's now become a bit of a habit to use it every time I get back in the car. Number four, wash your hands properly. Hot water, lots of soap, 20 seconds. Or sing happy birthday to yourself, two times in a row at regular speed. Number five, use disinfecting wipes. Wipe down your steering wheel and your tools, and if you go to a restaurant, the grossest thing in that place are the menus on the table. Wipe them down. Shopping carts, same thing. Number six, avoid touching your face. Your face is full of the main holes in your body that germs like to get into. Your eyes, your nose, your mouth, probably your ears too. Make it a habit not to pick your nose regularly, touch your eyes, etc. If you got an itch on your face, maybe a quick cleanup with some hand sanitizer before you go digging in there. Number seven, clean up your workspace. Your workspace slash office is your front seat 
and the back seat of your vehicle. Don't let food containers and other garbage pile up in your vehicle or your hotel room. Try to keep it neat and clean. And number eight, okay, so what happened? You're on cat and you got sick anyway. Stay home, or rather, stay in your hotel room. If you're feeling feverish and achy and you're coughing and sneezing and basically you feel like you are sick. Cancel your appointments for the next day or maybe two and have Postmates deliver some food and NyQuil to your hotel room and then get some rest. Even just one day, maybe a day and a half of bed rest will do wonders for you. I know it's hard to do when you're not getting paid by the hour, but listen, nobody's gonna appreciate you sniffling and sneezing in their living room, especially if they're elderly or they have little kids. Also, your eye firm and carrier aren't going to appreciate you running around with a bad cold dealing with their customers, okay? Never mind that if you don't get some good bed rest, your cold is gonna drag out for days or even possibly weeks. So take a break. Question of the day. Do you or anybody you know have the coronavirus? What's it like? Let us know in the comments. For more information about crushing it as an independent adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com. If you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by subscribing to Adjuster TV on YouTube. Wondering what to watch next? There are tons more videos right here on the Adjuster TV YouTube channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching the Property IA Show. Have a great storm.